Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at the Squid Game Green Light and Red Light game. So this is developed in Python and we will have a look at how exactly it works and we will talk a little bit about the backend. So this is actually a video, so let's go ahead and play it. So here first of all we have the menu items, so you can see we have all of these buttons. And on the left side here you will see that this is the body detection and it will count how many pixels are detected at each given point. And this here is the original footage uh, of our webcam or the camera. So let's go ahead and play this. So first of all, what happens is that when you open up the camera, it will ask you to move back because uh, there needs to be a specific amount of distance before the game starts. So as you can see, I'm going backwards and it will ask you to keep going back. Now, once the specific distance is, is reached, it will tell you, um, it will give you a counter to start the game. So right now you can see, and if you want to go uh, behind that as well, it is fine. So I'm going till uh, the maximum I can. And here you can see I have stopped. And now the game will start. Here is the timer. So you have 60 seconds to complete this task. And here is the live body count, uh, the pixel count that will show. So when the doll is actually speaking, there will be no pixel count, so it will not detect. Uh, even if it detects any motion, it will not do anything. So once the doll stops, there will be a rectangle around the body. And if that rectangle is green, it means you are not moving. And the pixel count over here is very small. But if you are moving, then the pixel count here will be high. So it will become red and you will get shot. So I didn't actually integrate the gun here, but uh, it's not that difficult to do. But let's go ahead and see the demo. So here you can see the pixel count is high, but you are not being detected because the doll is saying. But as soon as it stops, you can see this is the green rectangle. And this is so big because if you're watching it from a laptop far away, uh, it will be easy to see. And there you go. So uh, that is my fake acting that I got shot. But apart from that, you can see when the pixel count is high and it stops, you can see it says game over. Okay, there is a bug here. This part here should not be <laughs> here anyways. But here you can see game over and this part goes red because the doll stopped and the pixel count here is still high. So if the number of pixels are high, it means there is an object detected, there is motion, so the game will stop. So if we play this again, there you go. Player 456 eliminated. So let's go ahead and play this again without any interruption. There you go. So this is the basic idea. And if you come too close and uh, there was no motion, then you will win the game. So this is the basic idea of the green light, red light game. And it will be playable better if you have a bigger space. So if you are far away and uh, that will work even better. So let me know how do you feel about this? Do you want to see a tutorial on this? And uh, what exactly would you improve? And I will see you in the next one.